welcome back to my channel. I'm Caviar Arquez. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm super excited to be talking about this beautiful wig that I have installed today and it's affordable and you guys need it in your life. I may have found the best closure straight body wave wig on the planet. I didn't even know straight body wave wig was a thing. But anyways, let's jump into the intro of this video. Today's hair sponsor is Arabella Hair. They sent me this 24 inch 5x5 closure wig. This is a glueless unit in 180% density. This is in the texture straight body wave. This is actually the wig, yes, this is the wig. We bleached the knots on her and we pre-plucked her. Guys, this wig is so long. Like, it is so long. And I love it. I'm loving every inch of it. I think we're gonna give her a side part today. So I'm gonna shift her over just a little bit. This wig is glueless, but I'm not going to be wearing her glueless today, but it is glueless and she is feeling very secured. I actually made a frozen pizza for my husband's dinner tonight. I know it's really bad and I know I should be cooking a full meal. I'm actually a really good cook. Like I can make pretty much anything. Basically, if I taste something, I can recreate that dish just from my taste buds. But anywho, you guys, that's besides the point. Today I made him a frozen pizza. You know the one from Costco? If you guys go to Costco and you get that pepperoni pizza, comes with like four in the box. Y'all know the one because I'm sure you've gotten it before. Anyways, so I made that pizza. I got distracted and I burnt the pizza, like completely burnt it. It was like cardboard, but the cheese wasn't like totally burnt. I told him, okay, I'll, I burned the pizza. I'm gonna make a new pizza. And he's like, okay, that's cool. So I just like left the burnt pizza on the top of my oven, like on the stove. And all throughout the night, I ate the cheese, like the entire cheese and pepperoni off of that pizza. Well, I just kept going at it and going back and like picking at it, just going back, picking at it. Until I noticed like the entire pizza is like pretty much gone. Well, the cheese and the pepperoni. Pizza has a lot of pepperoni on it. And that's why I'll never lose weight. I also made dinner for myself. I made some curry chicken, Guyanese style. And it was delicious, but he didn't want to have that. He actually eats pretty much everything I make, but sometimes he has to be like in the mood to have the curry chicken. So yeah guys, that's what I did, side note. So I got done with my makeup and I kept craving the pepperoni and the cheese. I kept wanting to go back to eat more. Maybe I'll insert a picture of the pizza. <laughs> Don't you guys know what I'm talking about? Anywho, back to the hair, so is a five by five closure wig so the parting space is quite quite big on this unit do we want to put her a little closer so right now i'm just going to just really try to get that lace to lay flat with the blow dryer and the heat and as you guys can see like when i'm doing these installs it's not necessarily starting off flawless you definitely need to go in and clean up the hairline because there's all that extra stuff like product that just makes it look not, you know, melted. Because once you put the hairspray on, it's not going to just like melt itself. Like you have to detail it so the wig can become melted. And I think that's where a lot of girls go wrong with their install. They just spray it or they watch, you know, your wig reviewers do it. And then they don't necessarily pay attention to everything. Or maybe those wig reviewers are not showing like the parts when they're going in 
cleaning up the hairline and I really like to be transparent and show those things because not a lot of people know exactly how to get that perfect melt. So as you can see right here, you might be able to see in camera, it's looking a little white, right? But I'm not worried about that right now. So yeah, right now I'm just looking to see where it needs more. Clean up the hairline a little bit. Just going in in zigzag motions to lift the hairs that are stuck there. So yeah, we definitely need some like lace tint. It is pretty light as you can see. So I'm gonna go in with some mousse. Oh, it's mousse again. Interesting. And this is way too dark. A mess. <laughs> like just fixing my foundation around there. There are a lot of flyaways on this unit. But let's be honest, a little flyaway never hurt nobody. We're gonna zoom out. You guys are too close. Back up. Back up. I don't want to do baby hairs, but because we need to hide that little area, we're gonna do something. Okay, I'm gonna get the hair that I'm not working with out of my way. I'm concentrating so hard. Like, what's wrong with me? I'm just gonna say it now, you guys. I absolutely love this wig. Like, I love it. I think we're ready for the reveal. How did I do? <laughs> wow. Ow. Always burning myself, hurting myself, cutting myself. It's just a lot going on over here. In Caviar Cast Studio. Wow. Dropping things. <laughs> Let's go to the reveal. First of all, can we just get the elephant out of the room? Do you see how long this wig is? touching my booty you guys this wig is so so long it's definitely longer than 24 inch this wig is absolutely beautiful so the density is really full but I want to talk about some of the things that I did to get here before we got here as you guys saw in the unboxing portion of the video the wig does come styled in its body wave texture now I was initially going to curl this unit, but then I read the title again and I'm like, you know, it's straight body wave. So that means it can be worn straight and hopefully bone straight. I wasn't sure. So moving on from that, I did bleach the unit and I left it to air dry. As I was rinsing through the hair, I noticed like how long it was because when it's in that wave style, that is in styled length. So you guys know we love it, right? You know we love it already because of course it is styled length and it's not stretched length and it's just beautiful hair but anywho i'm getting sidetracked you guys i did bleach the knot on my unit now this wig does claim to be pre-plugged but it was very light pre-plugged i wouldn't even really consider it pre-plucked <laughs> i don't know why i'm going so hard with those p sounds um the <laughs> i don't know i don't know about the pre-plucking that it came with because for me personally it was not enough so i went in and plucked her off camera so that's what it looks like after i plucked it i was having some issues sticking this lace down but that's neither here nor there that's what it looks like up close so it is the five by five so as you can see the parting space lace space is about here to here if you don't like wearing frontals this wig is perfect because when you are wearing a frontal you don't really show this part or this part, right? So basically this part here where my hands are isn't really shown when you're wearing a frontal. 
most of the time unless you're doing an updo so the good thing about the 5x5 five five is this gives frontal when you're wearing a frontal you want to do the baby hairs or at least showcase the hair like in that side so you can kind of see that it's not just a closure wig so I did pluck the wig a little bit that I did bleach the knots this is how the lace is looking after I sprayed this to secure her it was looking a little light I would say this wig is like a transparent lace when I was bleaching the knots it lifted really nicely I actually left the bleach on the hair for maybe two hours I got sidetracked I went out to the living room I was doing some other stuff I just totally forgot that I had this wig being bleached so yeah we we're bleaching the knots and I forgot about her but when I came back she was like perfectly lifted and that is what it's looking like and the lace is very much giving scalp for once I did not have to put any powder on the lace because it was just naturally looking like that but I definitely don't mind it looking like this on this wig because it actually makes it look flawless so when I washed this wig and I let it air dry it was really full like one of the fullest wigs I've ever received from a company more so like the fact that it's long and straight and it's this full I'm so impressed like this is the density and just super silky it's giving me like Malaysian hair I don't know it's just giving me beautiful virgin hair look at the natural luster of this unit do you see how beautiful it is if you guys are wondering if this unit was caviar kez approved I'm pretty sure you know the answer to that question it is most definitely caviar kez approved I would probably buy three of these wigs and just keep it in the vault for rainy days Anyways, guys, uh, that is the end of this review. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you learned something new. Maybe if you didn't learn something new about hair, maybe you learned something new about me. I really do appreciate you guys. If you made it this far into the video, you are the MVP of the day. Thanks so much for watching this video. I gotta run. I'll catch you in another video real soon. Bye for now.